It's Big Vic TV Welcome to my world Welcome to my world Welcome to my world What is up guys, it's Sean B. Big Vic, we are back in the building with another video and y'all know what we have on deck. We have Reason 12 in the building. So yeah, let's talk about this for a second. Before I get into today's video, of course you have guys probably seen massive videos out now. A lot of uh, Reason 12 talk, what's in there, what's not in there, my thoughts is this so far i feel like reason 12 has it's a good start we still need vst3 support we still need this sequencer to be what i know it could be you know we need an updated sequencer reason come on guys come on give the people what they're asking for you guys you know you you add things but I feel like we definitely need to have this sequencer updated. The resolutions, the resolution, the high res graphics is great. The updated combinator is cool. Uh, the creative sampler, that's pretty much what I'm going to talk about in this video. Mimic, uh, that's what I created this particular beat with using Mimic. I really like this sampler. Let's just throw that out there. I really like this sampler. Being able to create different combinators, put things together as far as this combinator goes. I'm not a super, like a sound designer, like geek. Uh, but I think the combinators, it's, 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 it's cool. I think that this new combinator is cool. Being able to kind of process, do things that you would like to do within the combinator. Put a lot of things, different modules together. Uh, patches, plugins, buttons, all that techie stuff that's really not my 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 field but when it comes to raw straight up you know putting samples together being able to make a beat i like the mimic sampler for that reason i always i always wanted something that was better than uh the other little chop up sampler we used to have uh for reason but you had to buy that separately but they finally created the mimic creative sampler another thing do i feel like you guys should upgrade to reason 12 those of you guys that did not have reason 12 let's say this if you're on reason 10 and you didn't upgrade to 11 i feel reason 12 now is a good time to make that change make that upgrade to reason 12 because now you you get to have reason as a rack version if you want to use it in another doll and you get the new updates that are in reason 12. yes i feel like it definitely should have been an entire new look with reason as far as how you know the the the, the look and feel of it high res graphics is cool but we should have had a new sequencer i don't think it's that difficult to create a kick-ass piano roll within reason we keep asking for that you guys are still looking for vst3 support i don't think that's very difficult to do let's get vst3 support in a reason 12 update come on propeller head or excuse me reason studios let's get this stuff let's get the people what they want let's let's make it happen right so let's get into this beat real quick what i did was i pulled up mimic creative sampler i pulled up a sample that i uh kind of had for a while on reason i just wanted to just really try something out just to see how i would like the sampler using it now a really strong feature that i like in the mimic creative sampler is the pitch feature pitch is nice i really like this feature because you're able to basically truncate a sample take that sample and pretty much create your own sample with that sample by using the advanced uh, stretch where you can preserve the transients 
for that particular sample. And you can create your own instruments from just one sound within Mimic Creative Sampler. Similar to Grain, but Grain for me was a little more, was a little more work to do that. It's, a, it's made a lot simpler within Mimic, the, the Mimic Creative Sampler. So what I use for this, I use the multi shop. Of course you have your slice. You can adjust your sensitivity here uh, with the slice, but I used the multi slot and I basically took a sample, an older sample and chopped up two pieces of that sample, put a little filter on it. Kind of use the sample the way I usually use them, just tweaking it just a little bit. Like I said, I put a little filter on it. I could have made it a little more dirty, but for this sample, I added the RC20 retro color for it. And that's pretty much what that sounds like. Second thing I did was I pulled up the Mimic. Again, I pulled up another instance of Mimic. And I used the multi-shot, excuse me, I used the multi-slot again. But what I did now was I pulled up I pulled some drum samples into Mimic. And I kind of tweaked this hi-hat right here, as you can hear what it's doing. So I like the fact that Mimic has eight individual slots that you can use. Let me flip this around for a second. Yeah, I like that. And of course, y'all y'all guys know I'm big on being able to use individual instruments. Being able to separate my instruments individually. And this is for me, I love it. As you can see, if you flip mimic around, you can use your instruments and put them on separate channels. Like I don't know. I don't understand why uh, racks get created that are not able to output to individual channels. Like that's big for me. That's really big for me. Shout out to Reason for having that on this sampler. I actually just flipped this around for the first time and saw this. So I'm glad that there's eight individual outputs on the back of this sampler. That's dope. All right. So. I only used four slots and instead of bringing in a sequencer to create my uh, to create my sequence, I just drummed out. I programmed directly into the sequencer. I didn't use the drum sequencer, the player for this. Um, and let's play this. I'm going to play this really quick for y'all. Play this uh, just the first eight bars of this. So within, within Mimic, there's a lot that you can do within this sampler. I think this sampler is dope, like for real. I really believe that this sampler is, this is a nice sampler right here. Um, the only thing that it does not have that I would love to see added in a future update for Reason. So Reason Studios, if you guys are watching this video and listening, please, please add in this sampler where we can detect what the key of the sample is. I think that would be superior if you guys add that feature into this sampler. This sampler is already nice, but it would be that much better if we can detect the key of the sample when we import a sample. That that would that would really make the sampler dope. Trust me. All right, so um I tweaked a little bit these drums just a little bit. I only filtered out my hi hat, uh, moved, messed around with some filters, and I actually did some granular, uh, granular stretch adjustments to this. And I wanted to add a little more movement to this beat, so I pulled up another uh, hi hat uh, for percussion. 
Let's play this really quickly. So it was dope that I was able to just pull those drums up right inside of, well, drag those drums right into uh, Mimic Creative Sampler and just start, you know, start drumming out my, my drum programming. Um, from there, I went into, I wanted to add a bass on top of this. Now, so because I wasn't able to detect the key of this sample, I just kind of really just played around with a bass line until I figured out because I play by ear, I just played around with the bass line until I was able to figure out exactly what key this was in. And I went and grabbed my Ample Sound bass and I added this bass in there. Let's pull this, let's, let's drop this bass in here. All right, so that was that. From there, we went and we pulled up a, I pulled some drums up. Actually, I pulled up an old favorite of mine's, uh, Studio Linked um, and Contact. Pulled up Studio Linked's Maybach Kings, I believe it was, yeah. Maybach Kings, and I just really grabbed some drums that I really liked in here. Um, some toms that I liked inside of here that I heard a while back and I just went to revisit them and I wanted to add a little extra a little extra something inside of this so let's let's play that matter of fact I'm gonna bring it from the top again <laughs> So that was nice. I like that. From there, I added some vocal chops. I would have dragged the vocal chops inside of Mimic and kind of messed around with them, but uh, for time's sake, I just put, went straight to Arcade, found some vocal chops that I like, and I added them for the chorus. Let's check that out. <laughs> So I think that was dope. So let's, uh, one more instrument I did add, I went back into, uh, so of course I had to switch this. This is, uh, I had to switch to my screen capture. Um, the audio's coming through the screen, ca screen capture. So when I play this, it's not playing like it's really supposed to play. So I did add this to highlight just as a just to add a little more texture to my chorus and I'm gonna play it right here so it may linger out just a little bit it really doesn't do that but because I'm using the screen capture it's kind of like delayed just a tad bit so I'm gonna play it <laughs>
so yeah that is the beat this is mimic what i like gosh i'm sure you guys have seen numerous reviews on uh mimic being able to stretch uh reason in and out uh the high resolution graphics um the updated combinator the only thing that i've uh the only thing that i've really used so far uh since using reason 12 is mimic creative sampler i think the sampler is dope should you upgrade if you're on reason 10 absolutely if you're on reason 11 mm, just depends on what you want you know if you if you if you feel like you need another a nice sampler reason 12 may be a good option for you or you could wait and see if more updates are going to come for reason before you drop another 127 dollars on the update if you're on reason 11 uh sweet so i'm I, I moved up from reason sweet to reason 12 i'm happy with reason 12 of course i'm still looking for some more updates vst3 support a a, 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 a a beautiful sequencer piano roll uh more piano roll options and uh for the most part i like reason 12 you're on 10 definitely upgrade it's, 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 a, it's a green light it's a go but i think they get, did a good job i feel like they definitely could have added more in reason 12 to make it like to to really make people excited 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 about the reason version 12 so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say too many bad things about it because there is I can get some usage out of what's been added to reason 12. It's your homie man. If you like this video, make sure you thumbs it up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you if you're on reason 12, let me know if you got it. How do you like it? Are you using it? Are you still using reason as a rack in your other dolls? Drop some comments down below, man. Till the next video. Y'all know what it is. Always hustle, never stop growing. See y'all in a minute. Peace.